One of my favorite things in Python is the zip unzip trick. So I figured I'd make a video about it. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, we're going to talk about this. This is the zip function over here. And what it mainly does is it allows you to zip things together. So there are two things you could loop over and it's going to take the first item of the first list. It's going to take the second item of the second list and it's going to pair them up inside of this tuple. So again, first item, first item, and we're going to repeat. So second item, second item, third item, third item, and you get your list of tuples. The reason, by the way, that I'm wrapping around all this other stuff is that if you were to just look at this naked zip, it's lazy, so you're not gonna see all the different elements. You could wrap it around in a list, and in Marimo, you get this nice output, which is great. Uh, but if you wanna have that on a one-liner, you would typically print it, so it's a little bit verbose, but this is what zip does. So, okay, that's cool. We know how to get from these two lists into this one list of tuples, but how could you go maybe back? Can you actually take a list like this and turn it back into these two? How can you undo the zip thing? And it's a bit counterintuitive because the way that you undo zip is to zip. So let's make a variable zipped. And what we're gonna do is we're going to zip zipped. And you may not believe me the first time you see this, but Oh, right. And, and again, it's lazy, so you got to listify it before it goes into the variable. But uh, there you go. This is how you get from two lists into a zipped list. And by using zip again, you can go from a zipped list into two. I guess they're not lists. They're two tuples, but uh, you can undo zip by using zip. That's the zip phenomenon. I think this is one of the cuter features of Python. Now, you might wonder uh, why this works. So again, let's uh, copy the input there. In this case, I'm being explicit about it. And let's imagine what should go out here, right? So you'll notice that I'm calling star zipped over here, which means that we can think away the list here. And OK, that means that this function has three inputs and they're all tuples. And how would we construct this? Well, we're going to take the first item of the first tuple, the first item of the second tuple and the first item of the third tuple. This is exactly what we had before. I'm going to take the first item, the first item and the first item. OK, that's our first list done. Let's now do that for the second list. And that's going to be A, B and C. And again, it's the same argument. It's the same thing what we saw before. It's going to take the second argument of the first thing, the second argument of this guy and the second argument of this guy. So there you go. We can print this. We can turn it into a list. And this is why if you want to undo zip, you have to use zip.